What up, people? Just a quick one today to go through the Hi-Fi Man HE400 SE Super Grills. Uh, as you may know, I've done a lot of work with the HE400. We did a complete redesign with 3D printed parts uh, in a previous video. Links probably in the thing or up above. Uh, but the problem with that was it was very involved. It was quite difficult to do. It took a couple of days of printing and it took a good hour or two to build, which meant that we had to charge like 200 quid for a 150 pound pair of headphones and, and even then we're probably losing money just because it costs us about 40 pounds an hour workshop time so <laughs> it was a good open source project it was really interesting i learned a lot of stuff uh, you can download all the files to build one yourself and i've got those in the link below since then i've done a lot of development and been designing these inserts that go in the headphones and do a similar job smoothing out the airflow and making them sound a bit more open and retuning them a little bit to give you a little bit more sub bass a bit more punch that kind of stuff and it just, oh, took a lot of a lot of iterations many many designs this is just some of the failed what's it and uh, yeah a lot of just thought it wasn't possible uh, anyway <laughs> took a lot of took a lot of different uh, iterations to get it right but now I'm pretty happy with these and uh, we'll be selling them very soon. So uh, let's start just by taking a measurement of the original ones and the ones with the super grills, just to see. I should have called them bear grills, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, just to see where we're at. Okay, so. Oh, didn't plug anything in. Hold on. Idiot. Right, okay, so that's our stock. HE 400 SEs. This is the one with the fancy new grills and waveguides and stuff in there. Okay, and this is the measurement with the grills. So we've got original in red, new one in purple, and as you can see, it's relatively subtle, but if we look down sort of below 40 hertz, it's flatter so it doesn't roll off as much. Uh, if we look up here, it kind of goes long and then drops down quite noticeably at, what is that, just over 1K, and we've kind of smoothed that off. We've smoothed out the little hump about 3K, smoothed out a couple of dips up around five, and then over 10 again, it's a little bit, little bit flatter. So basically we just, smoothed up a few of the peaks and lumps and uh, increased the sub bass by quite quite a big chunk what is that so it's nearly probably eight or nine decibels higher in like down at 20 hertz than it was so it used to roll off now you've got a bit more kind of low end impact so it's not bad just considering it's a pretty straightforward uh, easy mod to do which we're going to be able to sell for a sensible price <laughs> Which is good, which is the main thing. Yeah, just loads of R and D went into making it fit nicely and uh, and making it print nicely. So if we just if I just show you how how you would go about fitting such a thing, um, so removing the old grills is pretty straightforward. There's just like this little plastic ring that you can remove. The old ones fall out, and then what you'd need to do is these wires that are all in the way. You'd need to tape those around the edges so a little bit of double-sided tape or something to tape those up round around the edge obviously being careful not to touch the the diaphragm but yeah it's important that those are those are taped out of the way so when this goes in it, it doesn't sort of press these onto the magnet that kind of thing this is the the grill that is installed already and as you can see just down here near the socket i've left a little gap where you can get a screwdriver in to lever it out if you should need to do it because it makes it just totally reversible you can pop it in Pop the original grill back in. It's easy peasy. Um, and inside, what we've done is we basically removed the fabric off the back of the original grill. Put that inside just to stop hairs and things from getting inside. And I've also built in a honeycomb mesh into the front of this, so you can't, you know, drop screwdrivers and stuff inside. So the driver's pretty well protected, better protected than it was in the previous designs. And yeah, this just basically clicks in. You've got these little. Um, Clip, clips on the, on the outside, just like you have on the original there. Just get it lined up with the magnets. It pretty much only fits in the right way. And then just make sure it's straight, clip it down, and that's in. So, you know, probably the taping takes longer than changing the, changing the grill. So it's pretty easy to fit. Uh, it 
works. It does does what I wanted, and it looks looks pretty cool too. It looks pretty sexy. Uh, I like it. You know, if someone sees them, they're gonna know you got some special ones. <laughs> so I think the plan is we'll be selling the HE 400s with the grills already in for 150 on the website with the original cable. Then you'll have options of upgrade cables and converting from the balance and stuff like that, which will add a little bit to that. But it means that you can get something that's pretty cool for like 150 quid. It's a sweet spot, something you can just throw your money at. Uh, and then we will also be selling the, this as a download, so you can print it yourself if you've got your own 3D printer, um, like a couple of quid for those. I would like to be able to give them away for free, but a lot of work's gone in and we kind of need to recoup that. So two pounds, I'm gonna say, for the files to print it yourself and they will print with no supports, pretty perfectly every time. It's really nicely designed to work on a 3D printer. Uh, and then we will probably also sell them already printed. I'm not sure what the cost of those is going to be. It's going to be somewhere around the 15, 20 pound mark, including postage, I would have thought, just because they take quite a lot of printing. But anyway, just thought I'd show you where, where we're at with those. And uh, basically that, that project's finished now. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm done with the HE400 SE. I'm not going to mess around with them too much more for the foreseeable future because I've got a load of other stuff to get on. Other mods you could do obviously is replace the headband, that kind of stuff. These are really good for modding and because they're relatively inexpensive, you don't have to worry about them too much. But anyway, let me know what you think. What do you, what do you think of the look? What do you think of the, the, the things that we've gained just by changing the grills? And let me know, stick a comment in the what's it. Anyway, it's been super awesome hanging out. I will stick links to these uh, if you fancy a pair. And if you keep your eyes out, the, the 3D files and stuff will be available with Within a week or so, I would have thought I just need to get our web guide to set it all up on there as a download. Anyway, cool. Uh, super awesome hanging out and uh, lo loving your work.